just start digging through some stuff. Let's see what we find. I'm Dave Burke. I can't even say my name. <laughs> <laughs> this is Dave Berkthold. He was my first port sponsor, Blockhead Skateboards. Let's start sort of at the beginning. This is this is sort of at the beginning. This is 1985, and this is a Sam Cunningham board, but this is a, a bootleg Sam Cunningham skateboard from 1985. I mean, I was still in running Blockhead out of my parents' garage, and then like some lady calls and she's like, my son bought a Blockhead board and it broke. I was like, oh really, where'd you get it? And she's like, get the swap me. And so I just, I mean, it would kind of suck to be ripped off by a Taiwan or China or wherever this was from, but it was kind of an honor to like be in business for less than a year and be running a business out of my parents' garage and be ripped off by, you know, like over <laughs> overseas and find it at the swap meet. So. I was right up there with Vision and whoever else was getting ripped off at the time. So if you see one of these that looks like total crap, it's a bootleg and don't buy it. Don't pay anything for it because I've seen some on eBay and people are trying to sell, sell them as the real deal. So don't get suckered. All right, this is the this is the legendary uh, good Sam board. Yeah, we, this is I think this is the only board I ever got a cease and desist for. The Good Sam Club is really like a recreational vehicle club super old school and we just like changed the face from another board graphic. Sam Cunningham was, I don't know, back then he was super into snakes and uh, so every graphic, every Sam Cunningham graphic had snakes on it somewhere and uh, that was, that was the guy. What do we got? This is a, this is a hard times board and this is the first one and this was our price point board and uh, I don't know, I think Blockhead was probably the first company to ever make a price point board cool. Where people, where kids wanted it. It wasn't just kind of the board that they bought because their dad said, you can only get that one, it's 35 bucks. We actually made it where kids wanted to have it just because it was, it was rad. So I, I know this one is a, this is one, this one's from the old Blockhead house and there's a, there's a going sticker. So that leads, leads me to believe this was either a Zach Groves or a Rick Howard's personal setup because both those guys were on goal wing so not sure not sure whose it was but one of those two guys set these off somewhere <laughs> well this is this isn't a blockhead board but but uh check out the shape on this board it's hard oh, to tell crap. there's I don't even remember where I came up found it but uh that's not a blockhead board. I just like, it's just in there for some reason. Let me see, this is, uh, this is the, one of the first three boards. This is the Chaos model. This was either my personal one or my brother's. You lost it. Is there too much glare on this? Mark Partain or uh, Park Martian, Part Sane. We, don't, we always used to say Part Sane, a very small part. And, uh, He's part Native American, so that's where that's where that came from. You know, here's the here's the actual blockhead version of the ripoff one. This is the real one, but actually this was I kind of ripped it off because it was just some like clip art thing that I modified. I did the graphics for the first year of Blockhead, and then ran into this kid named Ron Cameron, and he skated for Blockhead, and he was like the just the Gumby jump ramp kid and street plant kid. He was made of rubber and he could do the most contorted airs. Yeah, I put him on the team and then about, a, I don't know, a couple months later or whatever, he's like, yeah, I do some artwork or whatever. And I was like, really, let me check it out. And then after I saw it, I was like, you do the art from now on, you know? It's like, this is one of his compared to one of mine. So, so then he was, Ron Cameron was the guy who was, Came, you know what kind of what Blockhead was known as, or the style of it that defined Blockhead. That was wrong. This grumpy man. This was what just one a sketch in Ron's one of his notebooks where he would his doodle pad that he would scribble in school. Because when he first started doing graphics for us, he was 16, and so a lot of his best work was stuff that was just in his doodle pad that he would do when he was bored in class when your mind's like free to like <laughs> when you're you know not when you're not concentrating on doing something and with a deadline 
I don't know, he's one of those guys that can draw better when he's not under pressure. And so he draws cool things.